In this video, we're going to make some cages. Cruise a cylinder into the work plane, and then cruise a torus on top of it, snapping it to the center. Before clicking, however, hit the tab key to go to the minor radius field and type 0.75 to make the torus thinner, then click in place. Select and rotate it. And move it up. Next, select it, click circular pattern, click axes, click this edge, and then choose how many copies you want. And there's your cage. You can use this technique another way. Cruise a box into the canvas. and then sketch a spline onto it. Cruise a circle to it, making sure that the circle is oriented with the bottom plane. Select the profile, choose Sweep, click Path, click the Spline, and then array that spline around a circle. We can click a primitive circle at its bottom. Click the solid, click circular pattern, click axes, click the circle, and then again arrow as many copies as you want. This might be a Christmas tree pendant. We could select it. Choose Scale, Non-Uniform, and then Scale it. Now it might be a necklace pendant. We could also split solid the bottom. Draw a line at the location where we want to split. Choose Split Solid, Body to Split, Splitting Entity, click, and now the top is separate from the bottom and this could be some sort of interesting light bulb cover. There are a lot of possibilities with this technique.